Hello and welcome everyone. It is 2023. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amy Williams and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I could be, not be more happy that you join me today. Um, it is January 1st, 2023. Um, I'm so excited today because I want to show you something from our new catalog, uh, new mini catalog. And Stampin' Up! has done a few changes. Um, it won't start till January 5th, so you can't actually order this until January 5th. But um, I, I wanted to go ahead and give you a, a kind of preview of what this, this suite is. I cannot actually open the catalog for you to see. Um, not until it's officially um, available. So I can't do that until next weekend. I can show it to you. Um, so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. If you need or want a catalog, um, please let me know. You can let me know in the description or contact me through my website. I would be happy to send you a catalog. Um, not only do we have a new mini catalog, which by the way, ends in April, not in June like it's typically. It's not a six month catalog anymore. Stampin' Up! has changed that to a four month catalog. So it will only be available until the end of April. Um, but also it is celebration. So for any 50 or $100 you spend, you can get free merchandise from Stampin' Up! And I will show you the front of that catalog. Again, I cannot show you the inside of the catalog, but um, I can show you the, uh, uh, the top of the catalog. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the screen, show you what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to actually use um, some in colors today and I'm really excited, the glimmer paper. I used it a little bit um, a while back and I have been so anxious to get to use it again. So let me flip the camera and show you what we're gonna to do today. All right, so let's see, I got my fingers here. I got this here. Okay, so this is what we're gonna to do today. This this card, we're gonna actually do it in turquoise, but I've got a, a birthday card here. Um, and this is going to be um, from the new mini catalog. And that mini catalog is right here. Again, it's from January until April. So please, please make sure that you um, note that. Don't expect to get this in January, all right? Or in, um, uh, can't even think of what it is in um, June. So uh, you can't do that. And the uh, uh, sweet that I am using, and I am using a sweet today, and I've got to figure out the name of it. Um, okay, the sweet is called the Fancy Flora. Again, I can't show it to you in the catalog because that is. That is not allowed by Stampin' Up. So, um, but you can kind of see here's a little bit of it right there. And there's some of the, the DSP and I can show you that, which is actually absolutely stunning. So here is, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> here is the stamp set we're using, the two-tone flora. And this is a double, um, a, a two-step stamp. And I think it is an absolutely beautiful two-step stamp. Um, and we don't always have that. So um, I was really excited to see that. And then the two-tone flora is, um, stamp set um, has the die cut of all of the flowers in there. So it's here. And then it also has this background. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is absolutely a stunning, stunning die cut. I'm going to show you this die cut in just a little bit because I want you to see what this looks like. All right. So there's that. Now in this set also comes another um, stamp set and or in the suite. I'm sorry. If you choose to purchase the suite, um, I'm going to move these out for just a moment. Um, you can get the um, something fancy dies and stamp set which uh oh it's right here something fancy stamp set okay here's this and we're using the happy birthday from that today i like that it's got all these beautiful sentiments and then the um 
the dies. This is the die. So it's great um, tags and backgrounds. I really, really like those. Okay, so there is that. Now on our card, I will be honest, I felt like that flower background was a little bit too much. Okay, I, I felt like that was a little too much. So today in our, in our, um, we are using part of the organic beauty and I will show you that in just a moment. So that is, that is something we are using the organic beauty. Um, and we're using this, this dye in the organic beauty. So this background, which I do really, really love. Okay. But also in this suite is this, um, a DSP, which I think is absolutely stunning. I really like this look. So it's obviously two ton. It's a six by six. So there's the front of this one. And there is the back of it. Okay. And then there's this one. Here's the front and back. I like that they use different color palettes in this too. So that you've really got some different options. There's this one and this one. This one, if I could paint like this, I would be so happy. All right, so there's this one and this one. This with the back is this. And then this greens and yellow. This has got um, evergreen oh, and this beautiful yellows. This is so springy and beautiful. Oops. And this, then you've got your purples. Then you've got this gorgeous kind of um, kind of neutral, which I really, really think is beautiful. And then this, I love these flowers. I think you're gonna be able to do some gorgeous stuff with that. One, two more, a couple more. That with that, this with this, and this with, huh? Not that, that. Now I'm not using the paper today, but I just had to show it to you because I think it's um, some of my favorite paper. This um, comes and you get four pieces of each of the um, the ones. And then also in the suite is Pool Party Grow Grain, which is Pool Party is probably one of my favorite colors. And these beautiful um, rhinestones. And there's another paper that I have over on the other side and I forgot to get, but um, you can see that when you get the catalog. All right or I will try to find it and put it in there. Okay, so here we go. We are going to talk about what we're gonna do today with this stamp set, okay? Now, some of this I already have done because I don't think you need to watch me die cut, but I am gonna show you the two-step stamping because I really want you to see that, okay? Now on this card, I used um, Sweet Sorbet, I really like the, I really wanted to use this glimmer paper in the background, and this is using the end colors, which I really, really like, which I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like at the beginning. When we first, when they first went, put these out, I went, oh, okay, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna use that a lot, but um, as I've really gotten to know them and worked with them a little more, I've really grown to love them. So this one I use Sweet Sorbet as my main color, Granny Apple Green, and then I did Crushed Curry, and um, let's see, So Saffron as this background. So that's that's what I did with this one. Okay, now with this one, this is the Orchid Oasis, um, but I used the Orchid Oasis on the background and then Starry Night um, with this. Same colors with the... Um, the yellow, granny apple green again, but then I added this little bit of coral. So I added the Calypso coral and um, petal pink for these flowers, all right? So now the one we're gonna do today is going to be with the turquoise. We're gonna use the uh, turquoise today um, on this card because I wanted to do a little bit more. It's Tahitian Tide, sorry. Um, so we're gonna use that one today and I'm gonna show you how I, um, how I die cut these. This is a two-step stamp, and if you haven't used a two-step stamp before, um, they can, I don't wanna say they're tricky, but they can't, there's a little bit of a learning curve, and sometimes you have to kind of play with it and see, 
um, what you're doing, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you kind of how I did it. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna stamp those. Now the first thing I did, or well, not the first thing I did, but one thing I did was I stamped this um, flower in Granny Apple Green. And I stamped four of those. So I knew I wanted to use four on the card. So I went ahead and stamped four. I'm gonna tap that and stamp one. I got a little bit on there, but that's okay. I'm gonna cover it up. Two, three, and four. Okay, and then I'm gonna clean that off. And then I'm gonna keep that on. And on this stamp, I actually have two things on there. So I'm gonna use those, these leaves on the back. And I know I'm gonna use probably just two of those. But I'm gonna be honest, sometimes it doesn't hurt to do a couple extra. So I'll probably do a couple extra here. All right. All right, so there I've got my green. So I'm gonna be able to put my green up. Okay. And the reason I have to put that up is because I will get stuff everywhere. I know me well enough to know that that's what I will do. Okay, so for three of the flowers, what I did was I put the background stamp, all three of them on one. Not because I'm lazy, but because I like to use the word efficient. I wanna be efficient with my stamping. I made them far enough apart that when I went to die cut, the die cuts would fit and not overlap. I hope that makes sense. So now on this one with the Tahitian Tide, I, I want to do, um, I want to use Tahitian Tide for the top and the bottom. So in order to be able to do that, I will need to stamp off because I want the bottom to be lighter. Okay. So I'm going to tap this on. Let's see. Okay. Gosh, this feels a little... So I'm gonna stamp it off, okay? I don't know why all of a sudden that feels very weird. I kind of wonder if I have some soap on this. All right, I'm going to take my towel. <laughs> this looks a little soapy. All right, I'm gonna kind of brush that off a little bit. Let's see. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so it's not how that looked earlier. All right, so I'm gonna stamp it off and then I'm gonna stamp it over here. And it may look like there's nothing that's gonna show, but it is, okay? And it, there's some variations in that and I'm really okay with that because I, I, don't, I don't mind, but I'm gonna do two because in my, in my um, for my card, I do need two for each one, okay? So I'm gonna do two of these, okay? So there I've got that. That didn't stamp real well in the middle, but that's okay, that's all good, all right. Okay, now, so I've got that as the first generation. Now for the two-step stamp, um, you can see that this is the more detailed stamp that's gonna go on top, okay? Now, you can kind of tell what stamp goes um, by this. So do you see these little I don't know, pistons? I don't know what those are really, they're not called pistons, but they're called something. Anyway, these little things. And these, you can see how those two are gonna match up. So I'm gonna tap this on. And when I stamp onto here, okay, I am going to try to line those up. And that's, I always try to find something that helps me line up, okay? And so I think maybe I'm close. All right, so I'm gonna do that. And that's pretty good. <laughs> I did that pretty good. See how those really line up and it goes all the way around there, all right? So we're gonna try that again. Now, let's be honest, I'm not gonna get this right twice in a row probably, but I might be close. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty close, but not perfect. That's okay, it's all good. All right, now the second one I'm gonna do is this one. And this is the one that goes with that. And I'm really, really not happy with that. So I think I am going to maybe do, um, I'm going to try another one. 
I am gonna try another one of that. Let's see. I'm gonna just worry about that one. And then I'm gonna stamp it right here. Okay. Oh, that is much better. I'm very much happier with that. I'm gonna do that again because I wasn't real thrilled with that. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Okay. Boom. Ah, oh, much better. Like that, 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 and that. Okay. So I'm gonna use this. Now on this one, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. The shape I'm gonna use to line these up is this middle, right here and right here. So I'm gonna stamp this and I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna try to get that as in the center of that as I can, okay? Do you see that as in the center? as I can. Okay, and see, I did a pretty good job of that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, and then I've got the last one here. And let's see, I like this one the best. And I kind of like this little shape right here and that little shape. So I'm gonna kind of try to line that up. Okay, didn't do a great job, but yeah, it's okay. It's all good. Mm, let's see. Let's see if I can get this semi good. That's semi, very semi. Okay, now I did the same thing with other colors. I did this same technique and did some of these. I did some of the, I did the same thing using coral and petal pink. Uh, petal pink and Calypso coral. All right, I did the same thing. Um, I also did this flower as well. And when I lined up, I went to line up the circles, all right? which I did pretty good on that one, I have to say. And then I also did these cute little um, flowers right here. Some of them I lined up well, some of them I did not. And I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, these are handmade cards and you, you are making them, okay? So when I have all of this done, um, and I've got all that I want stamped. And I, I stamped extras because I, I wanted to be able to play when I got there. So then I take my snips and I cut them out. I cut the pieces out. Um, and if, if I'd have gotten a really good uh, stamp in that middle, I would have just gone boom and boom like I did on one over here. Let me show you. So, ah, working on it. I've got quite a few of them I worked on here today. I was, I did quite a bit of work on here today. I was really, um, oh, I, think I, I think I've done them all. <laughs> I think I must have cut them all out. But um, I did have some nice little strips that I used. And I tried to fit everything on the, the die cut machine that I could in one pass okay so what i would do i'm not gonna die cut all of these because i don't really think you want to watch me die cut all of those okay but i do cut them out and place them on here and then die cut and i try to get as many as i can in one pass so i would put you know this here I put this here, I put this flower here. I might even cut that. I would probably snip it, okay? I would snip that. I would do all of those pieces, and then I was like, oh, okay, I've got a yellow, a yellow here, 
and I place them on my die cut machine and run it through. I, I want to be as efficient as possible, not lazy, okay? Now I knew I needed four of these and I wanted at least two of these um, for this card. So this you will have to run four separate times to do this card, okay? But again, I don't think you wanna see me run this all 15 times through the die cut machine, okay? So that's why I have them all up here, okay? The other thing I did run through the, the die cut machine is this with Tahitian Tide. And um, I, um, with the Organic Beauty, I'm sorry, I used this background. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to um, look at this. Now, this is the Glimmer Paper. I think this is, I just think this is such a stunning piece of paper. I love it. Um, so here it is, and I'm gonna show it to you. Here's the blue, which I've cut quite a bit on. Here is the um, the green, all right. Now, the, I can't think of the name of it right now. That has completely escaped me. Um, and I think you could use this with Granny Apple Green too. I think you could definitely do it with both. Now, I wanna show you this because I think this is important. Like if you look at these two pieces of paper, you can see that, you know, of course this is um, uh, variegated. It starts light and goes dark. But I noticed on some of them, maybe there's less light and more dark. So you wanna look at that, especially when you're looking at your projects to see what you wanna do, okay? I, this really was the only color I had that on, really um, much of a difference, but um, you may you may just wanna kind of keep an eye on that. Um, I see a little bit of it here. And this is the Orchid Oasis, and this is the Starry Sky. I just think this paper, is so pretty. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just love it. All right. So that's all I'm going to do with that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, adhesive this onto this before I put it onto my card. And the best way I have found to do that is to use the silicone mat, your Tombow glue, okay? And um, I just want to make sure everybody can see. Okay. And um, a little sponge, and I'm just gonna use a little sponge. All right, I'm gonna put this on here. All right, I'm gonna put that there, and I'm gonna use my little my little sponge, which I really think it's about time to get a new sponge. I really wanna crunch the corners first, okay? All around the edges. And I'm just gonna tap that, that gets it on there easier. I think than any other way to do it, okay? And I'm just tapping away, okay? And that is great. Okay, so then I'm gonna peel that off and I'm going to adhesive it onto this. And I cut this, um, I cut this at um, five and a quarter by, um, by four. And honestly, I probably should have um, made it just a hair bigger to fit this. So I feel like it doesn't quite fit. This is just, so it's a little hair, a little hair here over, but, um, um, and I actually want that to be more on the bottom side than the top, because I think it'll show up less if I do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Okay. And isn't that just beautiful? I mean, I just, honestly, I'd be happy if the card was done right there. <laughs> just love it. I mean, you could do so much with this. Um, oh, I just, oh, I love it. Okay, Amy, stop. I'm gonna adhere this to here. And you can see on the back that my paper is just a hair smaller than that. So you could probably make that just a little bit bigger, okay? But you don't have to, it it works just fine. And you want to make sure you, you're saving as much paper as you can. So I'm gonna affix this onto another piece of Tahitian Tide because I really wanted um, that look to be very clean, okay? 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about what I wanna use and where I wanna use it. And you can see I have um, extras of everything, okay? I have quite a few of everything. I'm gonna bring these down because I wanna have options. I, I really do. I like, I like to have options. Um, come on. There we go. All right. That's plenty. Okay. So I know that I'm going to want these like this. Okay. Ah, they're sticking to my, my nails. I've got all, everything. I'm a little sticky. All right. I know. Like pop goes weasel. All right, I know I'm gonna want this. Okay, I know that's kind of where I'm going. You could have this card be this way if you wanted to. You could definitely make it a landscape instead of portrait. And if that was the case, I would do it here and here. Okay, so you could do it any way you wanted because it's your card. All right. Um, well, let's go with it. Why not? Let's just do that. We'll do it. We'll do this one uh, landscape rather than um, portrait. So it'll go like that. Okay. I'm good with it. Amy, you have new ideas. All right. So I know this is going to go in the corner because this is the largest flower. So I want this larger flower. And I know it's the largest because it has those little doomy hickeys. I want that in the corner. I That just, that to me feels like the way it's supposed to go. Um, but I, it doesn't have to if you don't want it to. And I think with the 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 um, Tahitian Tide, I love the coral. I could also do this. Ooh. Let's see. Maybe I could do... Oh, maybe I want to do that. Hmm. This is why it is good to have options. I definitely, if I do... I definitely need the yellow in there, which is not wanting to come off. I would definitely put that yellow right there. I had planned to use this coral, but oh my gosh, I just love, I just love this yellow. I just think it is really, or this, uh, the starry sky. I think I'm going to stick with that. I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do that. All right. I think that's the way I'm going to go with this. I hadn't planned on that, but that's the way card making sometimes is. You kind of you know, play as you go, you know, learn as you go. So I'm going to turn these over and I am going to add um, uh, adhesive, which it's going to be um, glue dots um, because I think, I think all of this needs to be popped up. So I'm going to pop it up. I always start in the top. I don't know why, but I always do. So I'm gonna start in the corner up here to do that one first before I do the bottom. Um, let's see, one, two, three. I probably should find my little ones, but that seems like a lot of work. All right. It's nice to have extras of these. And, you know, don't worry about having extras because if you do, I keep a little, um, I keep a little uh, plastic sleeve and I will take all of these, I will stick them in the sleeve and I will use them on another project. And I really do use them on other projects. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'll pull it out and go, oh, I, I could use that for that. And, um, or I could probably make, with as many as I have, I could probably make a whole other card, so which I may. I found yesterday as I was um, looking for a birthday card for my friend whose birthday is today. We do a New Year's Eve party and always celebrate her birthday at midnight. And I realized this as I was, um, you know, get, wrapping her gift that I had like one birthday card to choose from. I've given them all out. So that's why today's birthday became, or today's card became a birthday card because that is what I needed. Again, you could have this for any occasion. If you needed a sympathy card, you could, 
you know, obviously make it a sympathy card, a thank you card, anything you wanted. For these little um, lines right here, oopsie, I dropped my little flowers. Um, uh, for these, I, I think these edges, I always just cut them and, and use them. Okay. All right. I think I've got everything ready. Oh, except that. I'll not do that. I'll do this in a minute because I want to um, cut it first. Okay. So let's go ahead and start by putting the uh, this down. Let's do this down first. All right. One, two. Okay. I know I want him in the corner. He's the big guy. He wants, I want him to anchor it. And then I'm going to add these. And the good thing about um, glue dots, you, uh, you can reposition a little bit. You have a little bit of time. You can kind of reposition and you can kind of choose how you, how far you go out. If you don't want these to go very far out, stick them farther in, lift him up and stick them in, right? I'm going to let them go. Let them go out. I think different since I'm all right. So this little lady is going to be next, and I feel like she needs to go right there. And then I've got a piece of yellow. And he's going to go. Uh, maybe I'll put him on top. Maybe that'll be like that. And then I'm going to add this little leaf underneath. Every card is a little bit different. I feel like these just speak to you a little differently every single time. Oopsie. All right. Let's put him right there. I like, I'm very happy with that. All right. So let's do this one again. We're going to anchor him down with this. I feel like that's important. And then I'm going to add these. All right. All right. This is going to go up. I don't want it to be too far off the card, but if it's a little bit, It'll be fine. All right. So this one is going to go here like that. Now I want to make sure, let's get this guy next. Um, for me, I want these to be opposite. I don't want it to be yellow, 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 red, red. So I want my yellows to kind of be catty corner. So I'm going to put that there. I like how those kind of shoot out down that. And then I'm going to have this one be at the top. Um, and, it, and it can go whatever way you want. I'm going to have it go right over top of there. And then I've got one little more leaf. And if I wanted to add more leaves, I can. It's all good. Um, and this, I do want this to come under. I don't like the leaves to be on the top. So I do want them to come down like that. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. I think I'm gonna have them come like that. I don't wanna cover too much of this. All right, I don't mind covering this, but I don't wanna cover too much of that flower. Okay, I think that looks so pretty and it's totally different than what I thought I was gonna do. If I had done the uh, coral, I think it would have looked gorgeous too. So we can kind of see how that would have looked. I think that would have looked really pretty too. Um, I feel like this is a little more contrast and so I kind of like that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really happy with that. Now, I pre-stamped and um, I went ahead and embossed, heat embossed the happy birthday. I wanted to go ahead and have that done um, uh, before. So what you do is you stamp in Versamark, which is a clear ink, um, and then you put a white embossing powder on it and then you heat set to bring that embossed. Of course, I don't want it to just be flat in, so I'm going to pull this 
handy dandy one out that I, I feel like at some point it's gonna crash and burn on me because I use it so much. Um, I always, this is at um, one half of an inch. This is one half an inch by whatever I chose. I don't, typically I don't measure that. Um, I, stamp, I stamp first and cut later. I don't, um, I just don't, I don't know why. Um, that just seems like a lot. So I'm gonna put that against there. I wanna make sure that's centered. Nope. Okay, there we go. So I've got happy birthday and of course, I'm gonna use my adhesive dots. I'm gonna go three across. All right. And let's get happy birthday in there. Uh, let's see, maybe, let me pull it. How do I wanna have that set? I'm not sure. Maybe, oops, see, I can't. I may be covering up those those cute little things I just made, huh? Because I think it needs to go like that. I think it needs to 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 go under those a little bit. It needs to be a little bit farther down. All right. So there's happy birthday. Ugh, hold on. I I love the way this card went. I love this pop of of red in there. I think that's absolutely beautiful. You can still see this gorgeous glimmer paper from the background. I I just love this this glimmer paper. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I want to show you. I did it in the um the sweet sorbet glimmer paper. Oh, look at that. I just put it on um basic white thick I haven't done anything else to it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I just think this is so beautiful. You could just do so much. I think you could do something. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna do too much because I just think this is such a beautiful background that I don't wanna mess it up too much. All right, so here's my card today. And then here are my two cards that I did beforehand. Again, doing it different ways so that you can kind of see different ways that we did that. All right, let me pull the camera. Oh, one more thing. Oh, here is the celebration catalog. And you kind of see a little sneak peek. You've got this paper right here. You've got this cute, cute stuff. And I have to show you, I do have uh, one of the stamp sets for it, which is um, called Adorable Owls. And uh, the school I work at, we are called the Reed Owls. So when I saw this, oh, I knew. I knew this was, um, this had to be, um, I had to get it. I mean, I have a feeling I'll be making birthday cards and baby shower cards and all of those things for this, for all of our little Reed Owls. So I'm very, very excited about that one. All right, so let me flip the camera. Okay, I hope that you enjoy today and that you learned something today. Um, I love what I do. I love, love, love making cards and, and giving those and teaching others. If you ever have any questions or, you know, need help with a product or help with how to use something, please reach out to me. You can always find it on the demonstrator. Everything is down below. If you could like and subscribe, I would truly appreciate that. That is, um, I'm really going to try to grow my YouTube channel this, this year in 2023. That's one of my goals. So um, you liking and subscribing would make a huge um, difference in that. So I hope you do something crafty this week. I hope that you create something um, for someone or for yourself or just make yourself happy. Um, have a wonderful day and a great start to 2023. Bye!